One of the most overlooked aspects of Facebook advertising is your custom audiences. I would say that out of all the advertising consults that I do, only about 10% of them actually have a custom audience in place. So if you're not using custom audiences in your advertising, then you're doing yourself a disservice. If you implement just one strategy that you're gonna see today, when it comes to your custom audiences, you can easily, and I mean easily, double your Facebook conversions. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, so here we are at our ads manager where all of our advertising should be going down. To get to the audiences that we need to get to, which is gonna be our custom audiences, we're gonna go to the top left-hand side and we're gonna hit audiences. And this is what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna to go to create an audience and you're gonna see the have the ability to create a custom audience, a lookalike audience, and a saved audience. Today we're looking at custom audiences. So let's read, connect with the people who have already shown an interest in your business or product with custom audiences. So what this is saying is connect with the people that are exclusive to you, that you've already had a interaction with, that have seen you before. So this audience, that you're cultivating and creating, this is one that's unique to you and nobody else. So nobody else has run the same ads, nobody else has run ads the way that you have or really engaged with the people in the same capacity that you have. So you have the ability to focus on that audience, craft out an, a unique audience to you and remarket to them. So that's what we're gonna look at today. We're gonna go to create a custom audience and you're gonna see your sources and you're gonna see Facebook sources. So at the top, you're gonna see sources that are outside of Facebook, and then here are sources that are exclusive to Facebook. So for the sources that are outside of Facebook, we're gonna look at website, and we're gonna look at customer list. These other two, there's not that much, um, there's not that much traction with them unless you have an app. If you have an app, then of course you would be using that, but most of the audience right now that um, that's watching this does not have an app. And then the offline activity, if you have a brick and mortar location, then let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like for me to hone in on the offline activity because you do have to do it a little bit different differently. I used to have a boba tea company here in Dallas, Fort Worth, and um, we had multiple locations, so that actually did help me out tremendously. But for our sake, we're actually just going to look at these top two. And then we're going to go down to the Facebook sources. So let's look at the website. All right, so people uh, add people to your audience, include people who meet any of the following criteria. So this is a pixel that I use in several web pages or I've started using in several web pages. So if I have my Facebook pixel, which we're not gonna get into today, if you want a, face, uh, a Facebook pixel tutorial, then I will link that video at the end of this video and also down below so you can learn how to set up your pixel the right way. Today we're just going to look at the custom audiences. Now, if you've set up your Facebook pixel in only one location, then this makes sense. All website visitors in the past however many days. So with an outside audience, which the website is, you can only go back 180 days. On Facebook sources, you can go back 365 days um, in select ones, and I'll show you, and I'll show you which ones those are. But if you've installed your Facebook pixel in multiple places, in certain landing pages, in websites, in X, Y, and Z, and you're speaking to different audiences, then it doesn't make sense for you to use the all website visitors because you're speaking to each person differently. You may be speaking to buyers, you may be speaking to sellers, you may be speaking to investors, you may be speaking to anybody and everybody. So what I suggest is <clears throat> going down here, and go into people who have visited your specific web pages and then place that URL right here. So go to your landing page or go to your website, get the URL, paste it right there, and then name it. So you again, you can go back up to 180 days, you can do 90 days, you can do 30 days, you can do one day. It's gonna have all of these people that have visited your website in that time frame. Because as a reminder, as it said, custom audiences is a great way to retarget those people that have already engaged with your audience. So if somebody has clicked on your ad and gone over to your landing page, you have the ability to retarget those people because you've already installed your Facebook pixel in your face in your in your website. 
So that's why it's super important that you do install it and don't delay because it gives you the ability to do exactly what you're seeing here. This is, uh, if you hear retargeting ads, this is the way that it's actually done by you creating custom audiences. So then you can retarget or remarket to those people. I hope that's making sense. So you would name it and then press continue or create an audience and then you'd be, and then you'd be good. We're not gonna actually press continue at this point, but that's where you would go to do that. Now let's go back and create another one real quick. The customer list. This is the one that trips up the most amount of people. So this is where you upload your database. This is where you upload, um, if you have names, if you have emails, if you have phone numbers, if you have cities, if you have zip codes, if you have, let's see what else, identifiers. If you have emails, phone numbers, mobile advertiser ID, Facebook app, uh, very rarely do you, are you gonna have those. First name, last name, city, state, country, zip code, date of birth, year of birth, gender, age, and all that fun stuff. You don't have to have all of these identifiers, but it does help Facebook map out the actual people and go out and find those people. So you're able to upload your entire database onto Facebook and Facebook's gonna go out and find those profiles. So if you have a database of 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 people that you've received leads either through cold calling, uh, sphere of influence, or what have you, you're able to take that database, dump it into Facebook, and Facebook is gonna go find them. And Facebook's gonna not only find them for Facebook, but it's gonna find them over for Instagram. So that's a huge benefit for you. So those people that have stopped using Facebook, you're able to find them on Instagram, which is a huge benefit for you. All right, so I'm gonna download the, the template, even though they used to be big sticklers about this in the past, but that's no longer the case. So if I click here, you're gonna see the template. You can format your database to fit this template if you are like, or you could leave your template, your database, I'm sorry, the way that it is, just make sure that the headers are identifiable to you and that these are as consistent as possible. All right, so the characters or the fields are as consistent as possible. And I'll show you how to upload them. So I'm just gonna control A and copy all of them. Now, you can, again, you can download the template and have your database match that template, but know that now uh, is, it's, not as, it's not as needed as it used to be. In the past, yeah, they were super strict, uh, strict about it and you needed to have the exact format. Now, does your list include a column for customer value? This pertains more to the people that are selling products or selling services online, where it says how much they have, um, the value of that customer to you, how much they have purchased for you. So you have the ability to upload that as well. If you are collecting leads mostly, chances are that you don't have the value that they were to you. If you do, fantastic, go ahead and include that column, but most of you will not have that information. So you're gonna go to no. I'll move myself one more time. We can go to next. All right, so again, you have the ability to do the, download the template again, or um, you can drag your, uh, your database in here or upload your file. That's one way of doing it. Now, what I actually like doing is I just like copying and pasting because it's actually easier. So I'm just going to paste it right here. And I, again, I, as a reminder, I downloaded that template and for this example, I just copied everything that was there and I pasted it here. All right. And then you would just name it. I'm going to leave it untitled so I can come back and delete it later. And now it's mapped out. So you see 17 were mapped and then two were not. All right, so email, 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 phone number, phone number, phone number, mobile advertiser ID, first name, last name, all this fun stuff. So let's see the ones that it didn't find. Let's go over here. You know, what's, what's interesting is that they gave us the, um, oh, it's because of value ID, okay. That's why I didn't map it. I was about to say, you gave me the template, but that makes sense because uh, we put uh, the LTV was not there. That's fine. So you, you would just hit upload and create and you're off and running. So again, we're not going to create that one because then it's going to be more busy work for me. So then what we're going to do is go back to custom audiences. So we've gone to the website and we've gone to the customer list. Now, what we're going to look for down here are going to be the video, the lead form, and the Facebook page. Notice that you have the ability to create a custom audience off of the people that can connected or engaged with your Instagram business page. That is basically the same thing as Facebook page. So to save us a little bit of time, we're actually going to double dip by creating that Facebook page. All right, so when you go to video, 
you choose the engagement you want to see let's see people have watched at least 50 percent of your video and then you get to actually choose that video so you're going to get to your catalog of videos that you've run in the past so i'm just going to select this one and i'm going to click confirm and now i'm going to say in the past 365 days that's fine so then i would just name it again make sure that you name it something that you can remember something that you can identify because it's super important you don't want to create and then forget oh who was i targeting it makes it so much easier so that's one way of doing it now remember let's go back that is for your video you can also retarget those people that have uh, engaged with your lead form so if you run a lot of lead generation campaigns and you're getting clicks to your landing pages and to your lead form but aren't getting many submissions you have the ability to target only those people and then you see anybody who has opened this form in the last 90 days or you can select anybody who opened but didn't submit the form anybody who opened and submitted the form so those people that have actually submitted the form to you so if you've been collecting hundreds and hundreds of leads then this makes a lot of sense for you and remarket to those people that submitted their information and you may have spoken to or may may not have you have that ability so on at this point i'm only go going to go with anybody who's opened this form in the last 90 days and then you would just name your audience and you're off and running so note something real quick value value must be less than 90 days 90 days is the max that you can do that for for this for the custom audience for your form so make note of that also something else that a lot of people don't know is that the lead forms when they come in there's a lifespan of those so that when the when the lead comes in via a lead form facebook is going to hold it for you for 90 days but then it's going to delete it so make sure that whenever you're getting your leads getting your leads getting your leads that you download them into a file or into your crm to somewhere that you control because if you do a big marketing spurt for uh let's just say for a week a month whatever and you get hundreds into thousands of leads and then you don't do anything with them or work them and come back let's say 91 days after the fact or 100 days after the fact they're no longer going to be there because facebook doesn't keep those so just know that all right in other words, what I'm trying to say is if you're using the Facebook um, Facebook lead form, make sure that you're pulling all the information out because when you come back to it, there's a chance that it's not going to be there. All right. And then we're also going to look at the Facebook page. As a reminder, it works very similar to the Instagram page. It's basically identical. And you're going to say include any people who meet any of the following criteria. And then you can select the page that you want to remarket to or create a custom audience around anyone who has engaged your page or check out all of the options that you have anyone who has visited your page anyone who's engaged with your post anyone who's clicked on a call to action anyone who sent a message saved your page and all that fun stuff so here's where you can go back 365 days so that's fantastic that's an entire year as a reminder on the website you can go back 180 days on your forms you can go back 90 days but here you're able to go back 365 days so start getting that data now because it's available to you so you would create that custom audience for 365 days now since you've made it to the end of this video i'll go ahead and give you a pro tip which you've actually been seeing along the way look at how i've structured these i have staggered them that way this one's seven days this one's well this one's seven days that one's 14 days 30 days 60 days 90 days 180 days 365 days so i'm able to segment out who i'm speaking to i'm able to speak to those people that have heard from me from the last six months and beyond so i'm sorry six months and further so between six and 12 months you're able to speak to them differently and then let's just say if you want to go and remarket to the people that have heard from you in the last seven days you're able to market those people specifically so make sure that you stagger step your custom audiences because then you're able to craft your audience i'm sorry you're able to craft your message so much better so now that you know more about custom audiences and what they can do for your business it's time to put them into action so i'll leave a video right here that's going to help you do that also if you found value today please be sure to subscribe. It really does help me out. And also, please be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.